If you are in any need of prayer or advice, make sure you comment or email. God bless you. Let me say this before I get to my main point. I have received some more confirmations that some more of my prayers are going to be answered, which is amazing. All you have to do, as I have been stating, is follow the rules and regulations of the Bible and keep your faith in God and write down your prayers. And you may ask me, why should I write down my prayers? Now, for me, if you continue to contemplate on your prayers each and every day, sometimes that may build impatience within you. I know for myself, if now there are some prayers that I may think about every day. And sometimes that can mess with my faith. So what I like to do is pray about something and take my mind off of it if I can. Now with some things you may not be able to take your mind off of it, which is, I guess, okay, but for me and perhaps people like me, they should take their mind off of their prayers, which works really, really well. So in saying that, don't only ask for one or two prayers or don't only ask for one or two things. Ask for more things. Why not? Especially the things that you are in need of. Pray for it. Stop being prideful. Well, Kevin, I can do it on my own. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so let me get to my main point. When you do things for people, do it with no strings attached. When you do things for people, do it with no strings attached. Why do I say that? And you may say, what is no strings attached? It is when you do something for a person, or let me say this, sometimes when some people do things for others, they do it with strings attached, meaning since I have done many things for you or something for you, this means that you owe me. So even though I did not tell you that you owe me, <laughs> One day I am going to call you and pretty much force you to do something for me because I have done something for you. That is so wrong. You have to understand that. Now, in, in the beginning, if both people or more people agree upon it that payment is going to be made, okay, that is one thing. But don't go out there thinking, hey, if I do this for a person, I am going to obligate that person, pretty much force that person to do something for me. That is wrong. 
Our intentions matter. Yes, God is looking at our good deeds, yes, but he is also looking at our intentions. What good would my good deeds be if my intentions are evil? Hey, I am going to help out this male or female because when I get really, really close to them, I am going to use them so much. So, how can God bless me for doing good deeds if my intentions are evil? Won't I reap a harvest based upon evil? Because the reason why I am doing those good things because I am being evil. So your intentions matter. I would say, and I can't be wrong about this, your intentions matter more than doing good things for people. I believe that makes sense there. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.